This is a Samsung S24 Ultra. I need to replace the LCD. So I've heated the back glass already and I'm going to take it off. To take it off, I need to have this tool and I will use a small blade to make a small gap over here. So friends, this is what I was talking about, a uh, small gap and I have this. So I'm going to take off this blade from here and I'm going to use this tool. I'm going to walk my way across right around the edge of the screen, probably somewhere two millimeter inside. So guys, this is what is inside Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. So to take off the screen, we need to take off all the screws over here. And then we need to take off all the screws over here. So let's get started. Also, we need to disconnect this flex. All right. Guys, look at the camera layout on an S24 Ultra. Look at the zoom lens. It's really, really some piece of engineering here. Look at how it is like some kind of a fish eye over here. You see, it's like a fish eye. It's nice. Wow, what a piece of engineering. Look at this. You can see I have disconnected this flex here. So when you disconnect the flex, be careful of any components on on the sides you can see there are some components there so be mindful of them i will suggest take it from the top so i've taken off all the screws so i can just pull this up now when you pull it up try to hold the base of it so you don't damage any of it so there you go just come off now from here so now what we need to do is pretty simple first thing first we disconnect the battery but before this repair i've already taken off the sim tray from here you see now we need to take off the three screws disconnect this flexes you can use a plastic pry tool something like this and you see the components here so if your lcd is fine then you need to be more careful the first thing first we disconnect the battery from here so from the top we will take it off There you go same thing goes over here so we disconnect all the flexes be mindful of all the connectors on the side all right so give me two minutes and i'll be back one more thing guys for s24 ultra you see this flex is going on top of this flex so be mindful of this and yeah, everything else seems the same uh, please check out my other videos where when you watch it you will come to know how we disassemble phones so this is a pretty good video I'm going to do, more close-up angles. If you do like this video, this kind of content, then please like and subscribe. And do let me know how this video has turned out. Alright folks, just a quick one. Be careful of this capacitors. You see this capacitors there? So when you take off the connector, try not to damage this capacitors there. Same thing at the bottom. You see the capacitors over here and over here very very crucial not to damage this ones here and this ones here all right so i've taken off all the screws from the charging port as you can see and then from here we have to take off this part so there's a small gap over here you can just pop it up from here so it's already popping off and this is your ear speaker so now we need to disconnect the camera and then the motherboard has to be taken off from this angle and the charging port is pretty simple so just gonna put my tool over here on the side and just lift it slightly up and then you can pull it up all right you see that's your SIM tray, that's your charging port, and that's your microphone there. Okay, so let me just disconnect the camera over here, and I'll take off the main board. Okay, so when you take off the motherboard, try not to touch the camera lens. Try to touch them from the sides, 
as you can see touching them from the sides and just pull it out from here okay so this is how your LCD will look show you this is how your phone looks there you go you see So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up this part, this part of your LCD. So I'm going to keep it on the hot plate. If you have a hair dryer, then you will have to do it uniformly. So I'm going to keep this on the hot plate and then we're going to take off the LCD. Okay. So the frame will remain as it is. We are only replacing this particular LCD that I have got. It's a new LCD. So I'm just going to replace this one. Now, uh, as you can see, I've put the adhesive and I'm going to take off this protective covering from here. So, this is how it is. So, I've taken the protective covering and you can see this is the adhesive over here. And time to take this one off as well. Make sure it's sticking sticking good so now we are gonna put the screen there so so friends as you can see I put the screen and make sure this flex is coming all the way before you press it down all right or if this one is not fully in from the hole then you're gonna have problems when you connect it to your motherboard it's gonna be short so make sure it's fully coming off all right now here I'm just going to make sure what happens is this whole thing goes inside and then it is not fully out but for me I made sure this is coming off fully from the LCD I replaced so this is the main thing and once you have it in place just press down all the corners on the screen and it should be good to install all over again I have put on the motherboard I've connected the camera this flex is over here and the charging port is connected the three screws have been put and i'm just going to connect all the flexes now so guys the phone is almost been assembled uh, just need to put all the screws there and there at the bottom make sure it's nice and fit and clicked in and then let's put the screws and let's put the back glass and the phone is good to go so guys you can see i've put the adhesive on the phone for the back glass so let's take it off Good. So it's a bit tricky working with one hand and one hand filming. I haven't uh, got my tripod today. So I'm just going to put the back glass on the phone. But before that, just make sure there's no dirt trapped under the lens. Okay, so once you align it, just press it down and just give it a nice press. And just like that, the phone has been fixed. Time for the reveal. Let's see if it turns on. There you go. So folks, uh, thank you for watching. And if you do like the video, then please uh, support the channel and please subscribe. Thank you. Have a lovely day.